talking a little bit about the sweet potato vine here, which we think of sweet potato as in its name as a thing that produces potatoes. But what I'm going to be talking about is the greens from it. So in our perennial um, tropical permaculture, we're always looking for really um, easy to harvest and easy to propagate dark perennial greens. And sweet potato is definitely one among them. So if you can look at its habit, we see that it likes to ramble and clamber, but it doesn't vine constrictively and it's not really abrasive on its, um, on its stems. So it's got a, a softness to its feel and there's also a softness to its look. The way that it stacks nicely as it clambers kind of is attractive compared to something that might look like it's just choking out that that it's growing on. Um, also, it roots at the nodes. So you can see these little roots here. Now these are up in the air, but if we're down on the ground, then at each one of these nodes, those roots are gonna be growing into the ground. So this will continue to just grow in a space and exist as a ground cover and a part climbing type of crop, whether you're worried about the actual potatoes or not. So for harvest, and we do this all the time, we rotate the um, sweet potato greens with other greens like chaya and the um, bele spinach. Um, you just come through and you pick them off right there. Uh, you want to go for the ones that look nice. Probably I would skip out on um, something older or yellower like that, obviously. Just leave those on the plant and they'll drop down and, and mulch on the ground. Um, so it's just a matter of coming through and picking. And when you come to this same patch that I'm dealing with right now, in about 10 days to two weeks, it's going to be looking just about like it does right now. So these are very, very quick growing. Um, just because I'm taking away some of their photosynthesizing ability doesn't mean that they don't still have a lot left and they won't they'll just keep pushing out more leaves. So again, very easy to come around and be able to get a crop of greens for your meals regularly, which is really part of the key to what we're doing here. Um, so these, I just take them and put them into my steamer pot straight hole like this. Um, they can be rinsed before um, if you're concerned about any little bits of dirt or particles, but the steaming will definitely handle the rat lungworm as long as you steam them for a good solid 20 minutes, which is what I like to do. Um, and then I take them and just out of the steamer onto the plate with scissors to chop them up so they're easier to eat with a fork and um, coconut oil and salt on top. The flavor is very, very similar to taro greens, which of course is a um, classic Hawaiian food, but needs to be cooked for quite a bit longer or in a pressure cooker in order to get to the same level of softness that 20 minute steaming does with the sweet potato greens. Mm -hmm.